Welcome if you are new here or welcome back if you have been here before. I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets and it's Wednesday and on Wednesdays we cash stuff. Um, so today we will be stuffing 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 410, 420, 425. Um, now, I do apologize if there is a bit more background noise than usual, i.e. my dog's barking like they just did. Um, that is because I still have my little one home with me today. I'm filming this on Tuesday because um, I'm not going to have much time tomorrow. Um, and hubby is in the office today so my little one's here with me just me um so i've got the door open so in case she needs me she can come get me she's just busy playing a little game on the switch for now um but yeah she's still not she's still not 100 percent. she still can't she's not well enough to go to school so um it's really confusing i'm not really sure what happens because most of the time when people get a perforated eardrum once it perforates um Pretty much the pain is gone because the pain is the pressure building up behind the eardrum. Um, unfortunately for my daughter, what seems to happen is it perforates and then it's a small perforation. So she goes through all the pain of the pressure build up and then the perforation itself. But then the hole kind of seals back up and then it perforates all over again. Um, so she's had the pain constantly, basically. Um, so yeah it's awful it's awful but i'm hoping she is at the end of it her her temperature has been pretty much normal um since last night so i'm hoping that means we are well and truly on the home stretch in terms of her feeling better um if she's not 100 percent by tomorrow i'll probably take her back to the the doctors and or start her on the antibiotics but i mean the thing is starting her on the antibiotics will mean a few extra days off school anyway um because that usually makes her feel sick to the stomach so, um, yeah, sorry, someone is very noisily reversing out the front of my house. Okay, so let's get started for this week. I hope you guys are all well. Um, it's officially spring, uh, so we're putting $20 into water, which is mind-boggling, especially if you have, um, if you're in Victoria and have experienced the weather um it's been mad it's been absolutely mad we had gale force winds the other night uh so 240 in here now um our fence fell down and was just resting on our car in the morning so that was fun um luckily there doesn't seem to be any damage to the car i think it just kind of slowly teetered over um but yeah not ideal um so i can't park in our driveway currently which is very annoying uh, electricity is getting 50. Um, but look, we didn't do too badly. My um, aunts are without power. And who knows when that will come back on. Uh, that's 550, 600, uh, 630 in there now. Um, so yeah, it's been full on. I couldn't drop the kids to school yesterday. I had to drive around and drop them somewhere else because a massive tree had come down over the laneway that I normally... Um, drop them off in my older two so um and it was just pelting with rain it was like three o'clock in the morning and it just suddenly was like this massive downpour um and so much wind uh so 60 dollars in gas now um yeah so crazy crazy times here in melbourne i mean not that the weather here is ever normal <laughs> The phone's just getting 35. I'm going to put that one in the back, I think. My special little five that keeps <laughs> turning up in rotation. Beautiful. So phones now has 200, 400, 450, 470, 480, 490, 495. That's good. I think we need, ooh, six, 600 and something. It might even be seven, maybe 720. Um, by December, that's when mine and hubby's phones are due for recharge. And I would like to do them for the whole year if I can. Uh, we'll see how we go. Otherwise, I'll just do the six months again. Um, 
it doesn't make a difference. The six months to 12 months is the same amount of discount you get off it. Uh, so 25 in home now. Um, yeah. So that is all good. Uh, security is also getting a five. So yeah, I hope you haven't been experiencing the crazy wild weather, or if you have, I hope you're okay and nothing's been damaged. Um, let's see, 50, 60, 70, 85 in security. Um, Cause yeah, it's been, my um, aunts both live up Mount Dandenong and it is so scary up there in this kind of weather. We actually used to live in the basin, um, which backs onto Mount Dandy National Park. And we moved for that exact reason. Like I just couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep in the winter because the storms, every time there was a storm, I was worried a big tree was gonna fall on our house. And we lost power so many times for like a solid week at a time. Uh, and then in summer I couldn't sleep because I was constantly worried about bushfires. So we were like, do you know what? This isn't working. <laughs> so we moved. Okay, car insurance, we are starting all over again. We have boosted this up. It will be getting $30 a week now. I have changed my marker in here, guys, to a one that's slightly, I know this looks, it looks brown, but it's definitely orange. Um, so yeah, this one will be getting, I forgot to write that into, where's my little, hmm. Where's my, there it is, my skinnier Sharpie. We'll put $30 on here so that I remember. Um, so then, yeah, if I do $30 a week for the whole year, I should have closer to $1,500. Um, so that should be more than enough to pay next year's bill. If it is not more than enough to pay next year's bill, I may scream. I may scream. Okay, and registration is getting 20. It's just such a large amount of money to part with when you're not getting anything tangible for it. <laughs> This is like health insurance. Uh, so 120.45. Um, yeah, so I hope your week has been better than mine because mine has been immensely frustrating if I'm being honest. Like I just want my little girl to feel better, obviously. Um, my new printer, after raving about how good it was, has been a nightmare. Uh, $10 into car service. It just, it has automatic double-sided printing. And it works great when it works, but it seems to only work for like every other page or every third page. It's like, no, sorry, this paper isn't compatible with double-sided printing. There's nothing wrong with the paper. Um, so I don't know what that is about, but obviously most of my challenges are printed double-sided. And the crystal binders that I'm trying to make and the Christmas binders that I'm trying to make also double-sided. Uh, it's 120, 30, 45. Um, additionally, whilst the print quality is outstanding, the colors are richer than the colors from my old printer, which means that people who have bought envelopes before and are buying more envelopes from me in particular, um, obviously I want them to match and they're not gonna. <laughs> so I've been messing about with it, trying to get it sorted. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a nightmare. It's just something I didn't even think about being a potential problem, um, which is silly, obviously. But like, honestly, what is your most hated piece of office equipment and why is it always a printer like how like we've put people on the moon we have ai that know everything how has no one developed a printer that just works like i don't understand <laughs> 20 30 35 40 in car tires now um yeah it just seems like <sighs> maybe that's what i should be spending my time on you guys <laughs> it just seems like it just seems like it shouldn't be that difficult um, to have a printer that just functions well, um, and does what it says it's going to do instead of throwing a tantrum every two minutes about the paper or whatever. Anyway, uh, so 100, 120, 130 or 135 in license now. So I think that's about halfway to where I needed to be, maybe a little less than halfway. So we do need to step that one up a bit. Um, those ones are being skipped. Just all these little, yeah, all these little issues that crop up that you just don't expect. The thing with printers too, um, clothes is getting skipped, but shoes is getting 10. Is that there's so many to choose from and they all kind of seem to do the same thing. Like, yeah, like every brand has 
what looks like almost the exact same printer in about five or six different model numbers and trying to work out the difference between them is a nightmare uh, so that's got 100 or 120 110 i hope that's right i did add that in didn't i i think i did sorry i'm chatting away oh also i completely forgot hang on i'll <laughs> I'll do that in a minute. I was going to tell you guys not to let me forget, but obviously you can't do that. Oh dear. Okay, Gibbs is getting 10. And my poor daughter missed the birthday party she was meant to be at on the weekend. Um, but we probably will still buy her a present. Uh, so 20, 30, 40 in there now. Oh, that's a bit of a manky 10, isn't that? Um, don't let me forget because a few of you lovely, lovely people very clever, lovely people pointed out that I miscalculated um, my end of month total. And I did, you guys, I messed it up. So let's quickly, let's quickly fix it because this, which one was it? It was medical, my health binder. It doesn't have 775. It, why did I cross that out when I can erase it? It has, Oh my goodness, she's made a mess. It has 825 because as I was adding them up, I had it on a double-sided page and as I flipped the page, I went back and added up July's totals, not August's totals. So, um, what we actually had was higher than what I thought, which is so awesome. Because it actually, whoops, it actually means, oh no, what was I just up to? No, that's wrong. <laughs> Hang on guys, bear with me, I'll speed this up. It actually means we had $8,011 in there. I'm just gonna cross that out, um, which means, that we actually increased our position by $41, which means that this is also wrong and this is also wrong. So that's really very exciting. <laughs> um, so that plus, so we actually went up 337, despite all of those bills that we put out. So yay, thank you so much to the, I think there were two of you that pointed that out. And I did realize like, after you pointed out, I went and put it into my Excel spreadsheet and went, that doesn't, that's not right. <laughs> that's different to what I got. Um, so yay, it was really exciting. Um, very, very happy with that accidental <laughs> mishap. Um, but yeah, it just goes to show you that if you are consistent with this method, even on months when you have massive expenses, you can still, um, you can still improve things. So it's all about the consistency. Speaking of $10 going into doctors, um, I did cancel my physio appointment this week. So I was meant to go today, but obviously I've got little miss at home with me, uh, 200, 310. And also I just, I can't, I can't give up that time because <laughs> I need to get orders done. Um, medications being skipped, ambulance is getting five. So what happened was I was, very very busy chatting about budget planners that is how i messed up my counting um yeah i obviously got too drawn into that conversation <sighs> that i was having with myself uh 25 in ambulance now um but speaking of budget planners i am i am going to do one um i don't know if it'll just be like a printable um i think i will probably do a physical copy in some form um i'm i'm not sure what it will look like and it won't be until a bit later in the year because i still want to release advent calendars for christmas as well um but i have made decent leeway um is that the right word decent progress on what i want the budget planner to look like so i will put some snapshots of that up on my instagram today um or i will have done yesterday um, so if you're interested, just have a little look. I just, I absolutely love my Shea Budgets Planner. I really, really do, but I can't quite justify how much they cost for something that I'm not, it's not fit for purpose. Like I don't use it. I 
change so many of the pages to suit what I need it to do. Um, and, and then I end up adding extra sheets as well. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to spend that much money on as much, as much as it is beautiful. And the covers, guys, if you haven't seen them, go check them out. The covers she has released this year are chef's kiss. They're just beautiful. Um, but I just want something a little less bulky and where the pages are exactly what I want the pages to be. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out if you're interested. If no one's interested, that's totally fine. I'll just do it as a little side project for me anyway, because I can just print it off and have it for myself. Um, so 200, 300, 320, 330 in there, which is a good amount. Uh, so everything else in here is getting zipped today. Beautiful. And we are on to school. So the kids school expenses is just getting a 10. Um, yeah, I did just get notified by the kids school that it looks like the $400 bonus is gonna be released next term. So that's nice. Um, will be nice to give this category a bit of a break and not have to dip into it. So 110 in there now. And uh, uniforms is getting 10. Um, I got happy mail today, you guys. Not budget happy mail, but <laughs> how's this for ADHD? Like this is this is legit what happens. Uh, 100, 150, 170, 180 in there now, which is a nice amount too. That's really building up well. Um, so I, I told you guys ages ago, because I unstuffed the money for it, that I ordered a dress from the UK on eBay for like $90, right? And I didn't know when it was going to get to me. Anyway, the postie comes this morning, delivers a parcel, and it's like soft and floppy. And I'm like, what is this? Like, I have not ordered anything. I've not ordered any clothes. Like, I don't, because it's been what, like maybe two weeks, right? And in that time, I have completely forgotten that I have ordered that dress. Just totally forgot that it even existed. So that was a lovely surprise this morning because I had, I had no idea. I was so like, <laughs> That sort of thing happens to me all the time. And I'm honestly always a little bit terrified that I'm going to order something and then just completely forget about it. It will never arrive and I will never be any the wiser because I've just forgotten. I've just forgotten that I've even ordered it. <laughs> like, how bad is that? <laughs> so bad. Uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 in dog treatment. Yeah, I can't, I hate it. Um, and it just seems so ridiculous. Like I was so excited about it too. How do you just forget about something that you were so excited about? Ridiculous. All right. Family fun is getting a 20. Actually, I might put this, is this one nicer? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> the nice one in there. Only because I know where the other one's going and it's going to be spent this weekend. Hopefully, hopefully this weekend. So $40 in family fun now. Everything else in here is getting skipped. I feel like I say that all the time. Um, I know I do have a lot of envelopes that aren't currently in use, but it doesn't bother me. I like to have them there anyway to keep track of my goals, like what I do want to save for when we have extra money. Um, Father's Day is getting $30 because I wanted to bump that up a little bit. And I would have been doing it behind when we had actually used it, had, had we have done Father's Day when it was actually Father's Day. Um, but because Little Miss is sick, we will be doing Father's Day this coming weekend, um, hopefully, and we'll go to like the zoo or something. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. And that's good. That should just about pay for Hubby and I to get in. Kids under 16 usually free on the weekends, I'm pretty sure. I really hope so. Okay, there's that one. And then we have birthdays. Okay, so I'm going to take this out um, because I'm going to spend that um, like tomorrow or the next day when what I want for his birthday gets released. I have a new birthday tracker, you guys. Uh, it's not up on Etsy yet. I will get it up on Etsy. I just, what it is, is I decided that I want to save 
a tiny bit extra. It's not a tiny bit. <laughs> Lol. I was saving, uh, I was saving $300 a year for their birthdays. I'm pretty sure this adds up to 420. I purely because like as the older two in particular get older, they want bigger stuff. Like they want, um, more expensive stuff. <laughs> um, so I just feel like I need to put a little bit more money aside and I know it's fine like to not be able to get them everything that they want um but yeah I just feel like I would like to be able to give them um a bit more all right I'm gonna either skip this or speed up but I'm just gonna color in these so that this track is up to date with this one Ta-da! wasn't that great <laughs> nice and quick okay so that took me far longer than I'd like to admit. Uh, 100, 150, 160, and 170 in there now. So what I'm going to do with these is keep, um, I just want to make sure that's all dry. I will keep going with the $5 a week um, that I normally do. And then I will top up with mini Mondays or savings challenges um, to get to where I want to be because at minimum I feel like five dollars a week is a good amount so I will speed this one up too no how cute is that so cute so the youngest now has 50 60 75 she absolutely loved reading everybody's comments um, about how good of a little helper she was the other day too thank you so much you guys it was so sweet I really perked her up um because she's had such a rotten week the poor little thing i just feel so bad for her and i feel like now she's been off school so long that she's gonna have really bad anxiety going back to school um which really sucks it's gonna make drop off really really hard um but look hopefully she'll be okay all right so what we should have left is 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 and that is all going into savings challenges which i will see you guys for on friday Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I, hope it was, I feel like I was really chatting all over the shop, but um, anyway, uh, hopefully it was okay. And I will uh, see you guys on a Friday for savings challenges and hopefully we will be finishing full house. <gasps> so exciting. All right, you guys have a lovely rest of the week. Look after yourselves and I will see you on Friday. Love you guys. Bye-bye.